Hey guys, I'm Mikey, and this is Bones, and we're from Mammoth Mammoth, and um, we're about to take you through a uh, track by track of um, our new record, Mount the Mountain. Here we go, let's rock and roll. We're going to start with uh, uh, the last track of the second side, and we'll talk you through right through to the first track of the first side. Last track of the album, bonus track, uh, Can't Get You Out of My Head. It's a Kylie Minogue song that we did a cover of. Stevie Nicks song, Edge of, um, 17. Edge of 17, and then the Kylie song, and we just thought that was, uh, that amused us. That song is the complete opposite of Mammoth Mammoth, so we thought we'd do our version of it, that's pretty yeah. much. And I think it was kind of like, for us, it was, um, you know, we didn't intend on putting a cover on the album, but once we started mucking around with this Kylie song, you know, we we um, tried it in the studio, and we basically that that is we, it's just one take. We just did it and, and decided to put it on the album. I can't get up without a drink in my head. And cold liquor was written really early on. I think when we go into the studio and we write, it is pretty. Organic is certain things you don't want to lose, but we just try and do stuff that that um, keeps us interested as well. And we kind of always try and do a slower track. So Cold Liquor came out. I think it was called Space Ride. It was more of a spacey thing to start with, but it was it was originally called Pole Liquor. <laughs> the trouble is when we jam slow stuff. I think we can only go really about 16 bars in, and then we double the time or we'll start going flat out. Possibly kicks in as the slowest track on the. Um, Album and then just kind of shifts into another gear and takes off. The next song is Wild and Dead, yeah. which um, is, I, I don't actually really remember that much. Of this song, it's I don't been, remember. It. Yeah, I, 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 did we actually even do it, or is this song? <laughs> I think when we when we did it, we were kind of um, you know we we're just trying to come up with new ideas and different different ways of of um, doing some songs, and so we wanted to do it tr to try you know shift the dynamics a bit on that on this uh, with this song and kind of do do a bit of a quieter, louder kind of things. A lot of the stuff we do is foot to the floor. Sometimes after a while, they stop being interesting to us. So what we wanted to do with Wild and Dead was really, um, like, like Mike was saying, is just work with the dynamic, have patches that really build and then really bring it down quiet. So Wild and Dead, we just kind of forgot about how, what we did and now we remembered some of it. Yeah, so hopefully you like it. We can't guarantee any accuracy. <laughs> So the next two songs on the album that we're going to talk about now is um, Epitome and Sleepwalker. Just go, okay, okay, so what should we do now? And then I was just like, let's just do something. Let's just go sit really heavy and just evil as fuck. So we wanted this, that to really come through in the music of it as well. Sleepwalker was uh, a sleepwalker was a funny one again. There's possibly a jam. It might have been a session when maybe cousin and I were just jamming some stuff. It was on the chopping block for the um, mm. for quite a while. We changed it up. We changed the riff. We did a different drum part for it, and we started to really like it, and we started to have a lot of fun with it. And then when we were working with um, our producer, uh, Jason PC, uh, who's a former bass player from, from uh, Blood Duster, he kind of loved the song and felt it was actually a key song for the um, mm. album. It went from the scrap heap <laughs> into a pretty key song. And like Bones was saying, Jason PC really loved it and said, you know, we should, that should be the, the single on the album. And, so, um, yeah, so that's the one that we decided to do the clip for. So, uh, then we come to Procrastination. Yeah, 
Yeah, so procrastination. Um, what, do we have? what do we do with that? What do we get to that? Jesus, oh, I don't know. Procrastination. I'm, t- I'm kind of procrastinating a bit about I it. I can't be bothered. Yeah. No, fuck it. Don't talk about that one. Um, no. We'll keep- I know we did want it to sound live. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then yeah. we couldn't be bothered. Yeah. It was a belter. It was yeah. just a belter. Yeah. We weren't going to do it. We, we decided yeah, we thought... keeps drinking my beer, so... It's- Um, kicking my dog. Yeah, so kicking my dog. Um, uh, when we were mucking around, you love that song. Yeah, I, I, I it's your really, favorite. I, think. I kind of it was one of my, my kind of favorite favorite songs. I um, wanted to do a little bit of a kind of southerny kind of sounding song on the record. It's a bit psycho. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit kind of it's a bit uh, you know kind of hillbilly, meth, the floor. methamphetamine yeah. kind of induced um, crazy song. So um, and you know there's kind of a lot of hidden meanings in the in the lyrics. I was laughing at a review that I read the other day of this new record, and the guy was saying um, that uh, you know Mammoth Mammoth seemed to have a real dislike to animals because I think on the last record he brought up how we um, how we sing about being on a um, on a speed induced bender and microwave microwave a cat. So well, that, um, like you were saying, there, there's a lot of hidden meanings, and we actually hid the meanings so well we forgot what they were. Mm. So <laughs> but, see if you can figure it out, <laughs> and then let me know. All right, so now we're getting to the towards the uh, the end of the um, the album. The funny thing, the first three songs on the on any album, I reckon, you know, most bands would think long and hard about how they pace those out. But I don't know; they're kind of songs that set the tone. You know, like I think sometimes when a song is really good physically to play, you know, I think that's really important to the band. You got to feel good. The song's got to sound great, but you got to feel good playing the song, and that's I think how we feel with with, with Hole in the Head. Just uh, went to this ridiculous um, party and ended up kind of. Um, I, th- I think Bones, you were with me as well, and we um, we ended up like, kind of partying pretty hard for a couple of days. And I remember, um, you know, waking up uh, with my face stuck to the carpet and just thinking to myself, "Well, I fucking needed that like a hole in the head." And then um, <clears throat> just thought, you know, this is a great, great title for a song, so I took it to the guys and the guys really liked it. Yeah, it's and a great then, message uh, about everything you do. Most mistakes you make, which, you know, is what we do all the time, is you go, yeah, well, I needed that like a hole in the head. Yeah. I really, that, that was uh, the most stupid ass thing I've ever done. Spellbound came out of some late jams where we just wanted to take things into a like a slightly more kind of psyched out feel. I love the guitar yeah. and that stuff. I like pushing a little bit more kind of psych. But the lyric delivery is really, really, really punchy. So you've got this nice contrast between between the way the lyrics are presented and the way the song goes. So it was, you know, one of our faves for sure. Yeah. Which gets us to the first song and title track, which is Mountain the Mountain, which is an interesting one. We talk about this a lot that we we're pretty much halfway through the writing process of the album and things were going great. We felt that we'd kind of nailed at that point a song that was something that we were kind of proud to base the whole album around. And at this point, we trashed a whole bunch of songs we'd written when we went, No, we need to go more in this yeah, well, we, direction. With this song, we it was a critical point. We, we, turned, really. we turned a corner. It's definitely the most epic song on the record I think and we decided to you know name the the record Mountain Mountain and then um, you know shoot the cover based on on the on that song and yeah it's basically just all about the you know the struggles that 
everyone has every day about kind of you know the, the shit that we all have to put up with that life's a, life's a big fucking tall mountain and you basically every day you're just trying to climb the fucker and get to the top i wanted it to be um you know the most kind of epic song in a lot of different different ways so make it the first song that you basically hear on the record i think everything else pivots around it so it's yeah. uh, it's great that so it's so that's, that's, that's the whole album that's, we've avoided doing track by track videos for years haven't we yeah, we've been on Napalm Records asked us lots of times and we've always refused to do it. So, uh, Seb, this one's for you, another fuck. Um, right now we're in Berlin and we're um, we're just doing some re rehearsals. We start touring in a couple of weeks. So, um, yeah. And we're going to be touring this album for, I don't know, maybe the next 12 months. So if you get a chance, catch us on the road. After this, I think there's some, it's going to be a list of like, uh, tour dates that, are, that will come up in the next few months and some festivals. So Come and see a show. See you at a show.